Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of solving one variable, one step equations and inequalities. This is standard 6.10a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 38 of the 2018 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a very simple rectangle here. They've given us the base, and they are asking us for the height. The only thing we need to know is that area equals base times height, and they've actually already given us the area. The area is 375 square centimeters. So what we could do are two different things. First, go ahead and take a look at what we have with F. Let's just look at some of our answer selections. 375. That is clearly not going to be it because take a look at this. 375 minus 25. That's how you're going to get your 350. But if you notice, we're going to multiply the base times height. There's no addition or subtraction. It's a multiplicative relationship. So that is not going to be it. So really I need something to multiply by 25 to get up to 375. I'm thinking it's either going to be G or H. So there's two different ways we can solve that. We've already eliminated F. Well, the brute force approach is just going to be multiply everything by 25 until we find our answer. We could do it that way first, and then I'll show you a quicker way second. But first, let's take our 25, and let's just start with that 7.5. So we're going to start with the 7.5. We're going to multiply. Remember when we multiply decimals? We ignore the decimal to begin with. We'll bring it back in once we get our answer. So 5 times 5 is 25. 2 times 5 is 10. Add the 2 back is 12. Get rid of that. 0. 7 times 5 is 35. And then 2 times 7 is 14. Add that 3 back is 17. So we've got, let me see, 1875. Now we bring our 1 digit behind the decimal and the factor, so one digit behind the decimal and the product. So we got close, 187.5, but that is not going to do it. So let's check our 15. So we've got 25, multiply that by 15, base times height. And let's see if that is going to get us our answer for us. So 5 times 5 is going to be 25, just like we did on the last problem. 5 times 2 is 10, add 2 back is 12. So 5 times 25 is 125 once again. Second row is a little bit easier because what we have here is 1 times 25. So we're just going to write down our 25 after we put the 0 in the 1's place because we're starting in the 10's place here. And let's add that together and guess what we're going to get? We're going to get our 375. So that is going to be our answer, H. Now, I mentioned there was a easier way to do this so we didn't just have to multiply and multiply and multiply until we get to find our answer. And it goes back to looking at this. Take a look at this. Area equals base times height. Well, they actually give you two of those different terms here. A is 375. So I'm just going to substitute there. And then base is 25. So we've got 20 h. So all we have to do is get h by itself. So we need to isolate the variable. How do we get this h by itself? Well, the only thing that's keeping h from being by itself is this 25 right here. And the 25, that is being held on by multiplication. So we think, what is the inverse operation of multiplication? And the inverse operation of multiplication is division. So we are going to divide by 25. And if we divide by this 25 here, that is going to cancel it out. So 25 divided by 25 is simply going to leave h by itself, which is exactly what we want. But we cannot just divide 25 on one side. We actually have to do it on both sides to keep it balanced. And guess what 375 divided by 25 is? Well, the answer is h.